We're going to do another one of our uh, HTTP 203 microtask speedruns, right? Yes. Gonna... Oh, no, it's microtask speedruns. Oh, I don't know. We, haven't we are quite... not going to branding, mate. I think, I think microtask is a good branding yeah. for it, right? Because yeah. the idea is you're going to explain a thing mm -hmm. in two minutes. Yep. Go. Broadcast channel. Broadcast channel. Yeah. OK, so, so it's, it's, it's it, oh, hang on. Broadcast, this is WebRTC. You're going to no, get in trouble no, again. No, no, no. We're in a different area. It's okay. in the API, it also has been around for quite a time, mm. similar to workers, but it doesn't have as wide support, sadly, because it's not been used a lot, but it's really cool. So it, what, a type of worker? What's the? No, so, but it has to do with workers in a way. So a broadcast channel is basically a post message channel mm -hmm. associated with a name. So I can say, new broadcast channel, Surma. And now I get a post message endpoint for the name Surma. And every okay. other site, every other realm from my origin, like my workers, my service worker, all the other tabs that are open from my site, can now communicate through this same message channel because they know the same name. So it's, it's like PubSub. But yes. But across tabs, yes. across. Yes, and you don't have to worry about knowing which tabs are open. Do I have a service worker? How many workers are there? It just works. And that right. is brilliant, because what it allows you to do is to write little pieces of code, little modules, that just hook up to this broadcast channel and start working. So and previously, you would have to use shared workers to do like, to be yeah. a sort of middleman. And have some kind of, of management this. unit tell you, this module is now here. Do you want to talk to it? And now you just have this central unit in the platform. And whenever a module is finished loading, it just hooks itself up to the thing. And now you can talk to it. And that is absolutely amazing, as I've recently discovered, for code splitting. Because you just load things whenever you need, and they just start working. You don't have to actively ah. statically import. You just dynamically import. So what kind of messages are you sending through this then? What's so that? I have like a cache manager in there. I have things that do my color scheme adjustments, my animator. All these things are now just like little tiny independent JavaScript modules. And they use broadcast channel to talk to a worker, to my main thread. So one page receives an update, and it can just tell all the times, I've got this data. You don't need to go and refetch it. Yeah. It's there. Brilliant. And what browsers? <laughs> No. <laughs> Chrome and Firefox. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I like that you knew that. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> How was that Apologies. for you, mate? Was that <laughs> right in the ears?